Well, good afternoon, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 21st, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, Victoria Day. Hope everybody enjoyed their long weekend. It's been very busy the last 24 hours. We're looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes and a major movement, Cascadia fault line with the 4.1 in Sand Point, Alaska. And also this 5.1 in Esso, Russia. Around the world we go. Show you the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Still very busy in Hawaii. Minor earthquakes. 5.2 here in Mexico. 48 kilometer depth. Earthquakes going off in Peru and Argentina. That Argentina is pretty deep, 221 kilometer depth. Stay aware and prepared, folks. Have a plan ready for these earthquakes because we know that that big one could come anytime, anywhere. Strange 5.1 here in Tunisia. Pretty rare area for a 5.1 earthquake. And of course, Madagascar is still going off. Mayat with the 5.5. Indonesia. Kazakhstan. But this area here particularly has been pretty busy as of late. Be keeping an eye on that. Here is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. And you can see here the earthquake numbers don't even fit on the map. There's been literally now thousands of earthquakes in Hawaii, along with all that volcanic movement from Kilauea. And just recently, we had another earthquake in the Marianas Trench region. This has been pretty active recently. 5.6 and a 5.1 today in Guam, in Arajan Village. 5.1 and a 5.6. Very, very busy around the world for earthquakes. We are now looking at a tropical cyclone number two who has spawned. In the Arabian Sea, as I said, there was another one coming and sure enough today we have tropical cyclone number two, yet to be named. I'm sure by the end of the day tomorrow, it will be named because it's gonna be in a roaring path straight towards Iran and Iraq. Looking around the world at disasters, we have a fire in Saskatchewan, tornadoes in Ohio, thunderstorms Mexico and Peru and of course this tropical cyclone heading towards Yemen yet again and here is potential 40% chance of another tropical storm forming in the Gulf of Mexico
So yes, later on in the week, expect that. And this week we can also expect this tropical cyclone number two heading straight into Iraq. The weather wars continue, folks. Look at that. That is a very strong cell. And yes, still watching this very large low pressure system in the southern hemisphere off the coast of South Africa, heading into Antarctica. You can see they're breaking up into three low pressure systems as it hit land. In the center of the low is still spinning vigorously, heading east. So thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay young, then have fun. Stay aware and prepared. Bye-bye. Thank you.